Good morning. Happy Monday morning. Welcome to our 8.30 a.m. Monday morning meditation. I almost couldn't get the words out there right. Uh, definitely a little tired this morning. Had a very hectic, crazy, chaotic Sunday night. And I'm, I'm up this morning and I actually feel like I have a slight bit of a, a cold almost. Like just that little rundown feeling where you feel like you can get a cold or you're getting a cold. And I got that feeling just inside. So today I'm going to make sure I take it easy. I take my vitamins and really just eat right, hydrate. You know, those are really the best things you could do. When you start to feel sick, even if you don't think it's sick, if you're just feeling run down and you're just feeling weak, that's the time for you to eat those good foods, the green foods, the fruits and vegetables, honestly, with the nutrients. Uh, take those vitamins. You know, if you could get plant-based vitamins, take those. And water, man. Hydrate with water. Drink a lot of water. Um, just before we start, while we're waiting for a few people, you know, I, I'd say maybe about eight months ago or nine months ago, uh, uh, not even actually, maybe about six months ago, I closed my fingers. I was closing my garage outside. I had the uh, automated uh, uh, open and close shut, shut off. I don't, I don't even know what you call that. And uh, I was manually doing it. And you know how a garage door is segmented panels that close? My finger got caught between two of the panels as it was coming down and it completely closed completely flat uh, i crushed my finger here it bashed up the nail pretty bad i lost half the nail but the moral of the story is is you know i take vitamins and and stuff like that and i eat pretty healthy and it was still taking a long time for it to heal even an injury uh, a drill bit had gone into this nail about two three years ago and it was just taking a long time to heal and admittingly so I have been somebody, um, water has always been that one thing that I just don't like to drink. I just, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't like the flavor. I'm an idiot. Uh, I've always, you know, I've just been the kind of guy conditioned with soda and sweet things and stuff like that. So it was something I had to change for myself. But the moral of this story, and then we will get right into the meditation, is as soon as um, I started really drinking more water, uh, and this is probably now I stopped drinking apple juice. Um, I'd say it's probably about three months now. So for three months, with the exception of my tea uh, in the morning and with the exception of my vegan lattes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, once a day, uh, I drink water. And since I started just drinking water, uh, my this nail has completely healed. Uh, this nail is healed so much faster. And, and this is, you know... Like I said, I take vitamins, I eat healthy, and all these things were still taking a long time to heal. As soon as I started drinking water and giving up the sugar and stuff like that, well, not giving up the sugar, but reducing my sugar intake and drinking water, all this stuff started to heal so much faster. So really, you know, I know we are part of water. Water runs freely on the life. It's planted, it's here for us to drink from the rivers freely, not have to pay for it, right? Water is essential to your life. So as I just mentioned at the beginning of this, and then we'll start our med meditation, I had a real hectic Sunday night last night, very chaotic. I was out, got home late, all sorts of craziness, and I had a headache uh, all afternoon. Woke up this morning a little drained, feeling like I'm almost on the verge of a cold. And I was just saying, when you feel like that, when you start to feel weak, when you start to feel your immune system, and even if you don't associate it with being sick, if you're just like, ah, oh, I just feel run down, water, 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 water fruits and vegetables, but water, man, really hydrate. Don't drown yourself, you know, look at your weight, look how much water you should drink. You know, everybody says, uh, whatever it is, eight, eight ounce glasses a day. Some people like drink a, a gallon. That's absolutely not the way you're supposed to do it. I forget what the formula is, uh, and I'm, I I'm apologize I, that I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll find out for Wednesday night. But it's, it's your body weight and something else, and you reduce something like half your body weight or three quarters. I, I'm not sure what it is. Don't quote me on this. Look online what is the appropriate amount of water for you to drink on a daily basis for your body weight. Your body weight absolutely makes a, a, an essential aspect. Somebody can sit here and say, oh, no, just drink a gallon of water a day. Well, I could be six foot six, 240 pounds, and somebody could be five foot one, 90 pounds. You can't drink the same amount of water. Your body needs different amounts. So really look into that for yourself. And anyway, there's enough people here. It's Monday morning. We are just doing a 15 to 20 minute meditation to, again, set our intention for the day, 
be grateful for the weekend, be grateful it's a new day, we're all opening our eyes and starting today, set a nice intention today, and really, as I mentioned in my private Zoom group yesterday, that present mindfulness, as you're going on through your day today and you're trying to live in the now, in that now, what is it you're trying to do? Who are you trying to be? So really try and let love, as corny and cliche as it sounds, let love, let gratitude, happiness, joy, pleasant emotions and feelings, let that be what's naturally rising up inside in those present moments. Try and think of gratitude, reflect on things as, you know, we wanna be in the present moment, but reflect with gratitude on your life to bring gratitude into your present life if you have to for now. But really try and let that be that now, that mindful awareness that you are. Not just walking around drooling on ourselves, not just walking around being oblivious. Oh, I'm here, I'm present, I'm mindful. Let's really start to let the thoughts and emotions go by. Close your eyes. Let the thoughts and emotions go by without that attachment. Really work at that to, to test yourself. You know, sit here right now with your eyes closed and think of something that bothers you in life. Think, think of somebody who hurt you, Think of something, your, your job you don't like, something with school, with your friends. Think of it right now. Let that surface in the mind's eye. Let it fill the heart. And right now, as you're thinking about that, you can feel all those sensors, whether it's a frequency in your ear, whether it's a feeling in your chest or your gut or your throat, you could start to feel those sensors being triggered. And they're letting your senses know, sensors and senses or chakras, right? These areas of our body that are letting us know there's something going on in us, around us. So you now have that option. You have this negative thought resurfacing in you. Negative thought only. So before that emotional aspect happens, before you become attached to it, you can observe it now. Look at it. It doesn't identify you. It happened. It was an experience. All who were involved are on their own journey. We can let go of that resistance, that expectation. We can embrace forgiveness for this moment, for this event. So that's what I'm talking about. You can really start to condition yourself to see these things without that emotional attachment. And as I said, that present mindfulness we want to take with us today. If we've got this power, if we've got that power to revisit the past, see horrific, horrific things, revisit the past and see joyous and love, and we choose to consciously bring those into the present moment, then why don't we, if that's what we have to do for now, focus on what brings you joy? Whether it's surrounding your physical self, your house, your home, with what inspires you with love and resonates joy, we have to do the same thing inside. And if inside we are just filled with fear and anxiety, we know what causes that fear and anxiety. We know what people, we know what stories, we know what actions and events escalate and cause more fear and anxiety. So what do we do? What do you do? You make the choice. You make the choice to move in the direction that resonates positive joy and love for you. You move in the direction that allows that natural feeling of gratitude and love and joy to just come from inside without you even trying. And if we continuously do this, if we continuously remind ourselves of this, if we continuously work on this and make it a habit, then just like all the bad habits we're trying to let go of, this becomes a positive habit that we do effortlessly without even trying, just like breathing. So we always have these choices, just like the signs that get presented before you. Maybe you don't see them as signs, maybe you do. Maybe you see them as coincidences. But if coincidences keep happening and they are trying to push you in another direction or pull you in a direction, you have that choice. 
Is this sign trying to lead me in a positive direction? Is it leading me away from something negative? Is this coincidence going to help me if I follow it? Will my life be better if I avoid it? We have that one little choice of free will trapped within this world, trapped within your mind, trapped within the great mind. So take a deep breath with me right now into your heart space. And just think, this whole time you've been listening to me, you've been breathing beautifully and calmly, and you haven't even thought about it once until I said, take a deep breath into the center of your chest. That's the first time in this last few minutes you became presently aware of breathing. And while I was talking and you were just listening and reflecting, you were just sitting there peacefully, calmly breathing. So again, a deep, focused breath into the heart space, please. And on that exhale, you can let go that sigh of relief. Let that pressure and weight literally be pushed out from your insides. We are becoming aware of what does not serve us with light. We are becoming aware of how to see it and how to understand it. We're becoming aware of how to navigate through and around these things without allowing expectation and resistance, thought or idea be what dictates that next step. Again, into the heart space, deep breath. Constantly remind yourself to let go of the thoughts and let the natural intuition, the natural instincts, the natural guidance rise from within. The thing that most of you second guess and self-doubt multiple times a day, that is your voice of reason, the logical side of you, the divine light side of you. It is everything positive in you. Let that intuitive side of you rise and be what you listen to. You don't even have to focus on it. It is there always for you because it is that true connection to the higher awareness because you are the higher awareness. Breathe in deep to the center. You've only been tricked and fooled into believing you are who you think you are. You have only been fooled and tricked into believing you are who you are. You know you are a part of everything just as you are a part of the nothingness. You know the silence, the deep loneliness inside is absolutely beautiful because it is everything all absorbed into one. So really begin to let that life that we want to naturally unfold before us, let it naturally unfold from within. Let your steps forward just be steps that are taken with gratitude to be here, with kindness for those who are in your path, with compassion for those who are weak and fallen and hurt before you, with patience for those who do not see and understand the way that you do, and with freedom for those who do not live the way you do, to be able to live their life, experience their journey, let their pages of their book turn naturally without you projecting your expectations, pressure, and fear into them. We have to allow everybody that freedom that we want for ourselves because we will not truly resonate in that freedom until we embrace true freedom for all. Breathe into the center of your chest. Today, I just want you to constantly reflect on those words, love, gratitude, kindness, compassion, Really start to see what emotions and thoughts those words themselves create inside of you. Let's see what emotions and thoughts you observe from constantly saying those words and reminding yourself today. 
Put the rubber band on your finger. Put the sticky note on your forehead. Love, compassion, kindness, freedom, joy. All of those words, let them ring in your head all day today, all week. Let this be a week, regardless of how coarse and how harsh the outside world is, regardless of how ridiculously divided the outside world is, you right inside here feel that true gratitude. You feel that love because that thing that we interpret as loneliness and sadness inside, that's not loneliness and sadness. That is just the absolute highest form of gratitude, just breaking down, surrendering itself to this experience, to this reality, to being here. And it's just begging you inside to stop resisting, stop projecting, just be what I am. Grateful. Completely grateful to see this world, see my children, have friends, touch animals, breathe and wake up here every single day. So regardless of what happens to us on the exterior, you can always vibrate in love because this place in here that we've been breathing into, this place where you're listening to this voice right now, this is it. This nothingness in the mind's eye, this absence of everything, this nothingness that we see in here. This is it. So you have a choice to be grateful for this, this ability. And you have the choice to love this because after this breath, take a breath in with me. We will sit in silence and then we will be able to open our eyes once again and take a first breath today on this day. Make this a new day a new week, a new year, a new life. Because you know what I'm gonna say, that new light, that new light of awareness, that new light that I've written about, it resonates through you, around you, and is you, and all of us project it. And we have to be that beacon of light, not for only everyone else, but for ourself, all selves, all the little selves inside you, the fearful you, the joyful you, the ego, the not ego, the space in between, the spiritual being, the husband, the father, the friend, all these little perspectives that get us pulled into all these little, way, little ways. We always want to be grateful for this opportunity. So take a deep breath in with me. And for the next few moments, take a few cycles on your own and sit in silence. Try to observe without attachment. Try to feel and see without expectation. And try to be without resistance. Let your focus come away from wherever you are. Start to bring it back to this moment, this morning. It's Monday. It's a little after 8.30, here we are. We're right back into this reality. Our eyes are still closed, you hear my voice. We just were someplace beautiful and peaceful and now we're back here. And before we open our eyes, 
we have that option to see this world with beauty and peace. And that's what I ask you to do, be, and see today. So take a deep breath in with me. Slowly open your eyes on the exhale. Happy Monday, everybody. Namaste. God bless. And I'll see you Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. for Wisdom Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.